Okay, uh, uh, today is marks another milestone for KLIA. We are celebrating with Japan Airlines JL the arrival of the uh, the, the first in, in the region to for JL to fly the uh, B787 900 series. Eh? So they, they have in the fleet about five aircraft of this 900 series. So they have chosen Kuala Lumpur as one of their first destination to fly in the Asia region. So very happy for Japan Airlines. They've been here for a long period of time and this marks another growth for Japan Airlines. So I'm, I'm here to introduce everybody about the uh, our new service by 787-9. Um, that aircraft includes a very uh, sophisticated cabin interior, including the Wi-Fi service. So the, we would like to appeal uh, this our, our aircraft itself. Thank you for attending uh, Japan Airlines Boeing 787-9. I'm waving uh, event today uh, in spite of your busy schedules. I would like to express my gratitude to KLIA uh, for giving us all the support and for arranging the beautiful water cannon salute, uh, which I am sure many of us saw and enjoyed. Uh, we operate uh, the uh, Tokyo, Narita and uh, Kuala Lumpur flights. Uh, daily flight we do it. We are extremely uh, pleased that the Japan Airlines 787-9 is beginning service on Kuala Lumpur, Tokyo, Narita route today. And there are at least two reasons uh, as to why I am saying this. Uh, firstly, we are pleased and excited because with this, uh, we will be able to serve you, our customers, uh, better and make your trip as comfortable and memorable as we can.
Well, uh, Japan Airlines has moved uh, uh, to another steps where they are looking at the to yield at the different segments of the flights. Previously, they were flying two classes of uh, flight. Now they are flying with uh, business, and they also have a newly introduced uh, premium economy, and they maintain the economy. And uh, we saw that they are, the the target of the yield is uh, more for business travelers because they have more seats in the business class as compared to the previous aircraft that they do. So this really helps uh, KLIA in terms of uh, making KLIA as a hub, not just for the normal travelers, but we are talking about business travelers and uh, those who want this kind of service, uh, the better service of uh, airlines uh, in terms of connectivity to Kuala Lumpur, especially from Tokyo. Being the only airline to provide a premium economy class uh, service on J Japan Malaysia route, we also offer a spacious premium economy. In economy class, uh, our awarded seat, we call it JAL Skywider 2, uh, gives you both uh, extra break room and also this. I can now sit with my legs crossed, given on the economic class. The second reason uh, to be exceedingly pleased is that the fact that for 40 years, 48 years, Jal have been flying to Malaysia. Now we think this market has been the Malaysian market, especially to between the uh, Japan and Malaysia. It, and now it's a great, mm, the volume of our passengers are getting uh, bigger and bigger. So we would like to get such kind of a market. So we introduced a special, a uh, very sophisticated uh, aircraft to get such kind of a passengers. So for nearly half a century as an airline, we have been enabling people and cultures to meet and communicate, for business to grow, and for radio seekers to create memories. All these would not have been possible without your choosing Japan Airlines and flying with us. Hence, I am both grateful and pleased today to see a new page unfold with the introduction of Japan Airlines 787-9 in Malaysia's Tokyo route. Thank you so much. <laughs>